Let's get this sorted. I should do this off camera, but I never do, do I? Never do. So first off, happy Friday and welcome to the Lazy Redhead. And if you don't know, I am the Lazy Redhead and it is my birthday weekend. Yeah! It's my official birthday Sunday, uh, but because obviously this weekly vlog lands on a Friday, I'm having basically two birthdays because <laughs> I'm bougie like that. Bougie. I have received gifts from a subscriber and I am just the luckiest girl in the world. I wanted to unbox that gift with you and we also got a secondary gift which came in hot and fast afterwards, which I'm a bit speechless over. Uh, so we're gonna unbox them, we're gonna swatch some stuff and do all that good stuff. So let's get on with it. Uh, just got a sketchbook over the box because it's got addresses and stuff on, I don't want anyone to see. So I've been so excited to open this package, like to actually open it, but I'm also dreading it as well and you'll know why in a second. So let's just get into it. Okay, so card. I mean, just beautiful. Uh, and this is why it's just so hard to open the package. Do you see what I mean? Aren't they just so unbelievably beautiful? I mean, look at this one. Can you handle it? Oh, I'm just... I think that's something as well. Okay, oh, there's another thing. Oh, see. I mean, it's just, this is the issue, right? This is the issue. Um, I'll put this to one side. And this is this is what we have right now. So I, I really don't wanna, I really don't wanna open them. You know, they're like beautiful works of art. Okay, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Try and try and do it. Oh no. Okay, I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I'm gonna try and preserve the prettiness. You can do it. Oh, oh amazing. Oh, watercolour. Oh, that's an amazing little set. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, that is a map that, oh look, it's got like a little brush pen and a sharpener and everything. What's this? What is that? I don't know what that is. Oh, maybe, maybe this is for them. Oh, it is. Maybe if it's wet or something, or if you just wanted to take one out. And um, I had to jump in uh, here because you know those times where you're up at like, you you open your eyes at like four in the morning and you've realized that you've made a grave mistake. Well, this is one of those moments. Right, in the actual thing, you've, I said about this plastic thing, this thing, right? I thought that it was for the top, right? Just because they're watercolor pencils. But I was thinking, but there's only one of them. Because the pencils are diddy, meant to extend the pencil so you can actually use it. I know, I know. Um, I don't know why you stay with me, I'll be honest. I, I don't know. Um, it's mental. Do you know what I mean? So I just wanted to, I just wanted to clarify that. Continue. That's really cool. Oh, I'm so excited to swatch them. Oh, that green does look quite delish. Oh, I'm excited about that. Oh, that is a perfect little set, isn't it? And do you know what? I've got a trip that I'm going into December. Obviously, we're going together, so I'm so excited for to show you that. And this is gonna be perfect for it. And I've managed to preserve the prettiness. Go me. Okay, right, next, let's try it again. I've never had such beautiful packaging in my entire life, and I'm not joking. Right, pinch it, gentle, gentle. Is that, what's another one? Oh, it's another type. 
Oh, amazing. Oh, they are right. Okay, so there's they do ranges like different palettes. <gasps> oh, my bloody God. Okay, I need to calm down. <laughs> Because you know what I get like when I get overexcited. Okay, okay. I might calm down and I preserve the packaging. Oh, yes. Shall we go for, right, okay, we'll go for this one. If this is a pencil case, I'm, oh my God, it's just a load of pencil cases. Do you know how happy I am right now? Um, oh, there's another little one, little one. Oh my God. Right, the reason I'm so bloody delighted about the pencil cases is because I needed a load to sort out my go bag. And it's so difficult to find what you pro what you need, but this is actually gonna be perfect because they're, that, look, look at that cute one. Oh, I'm gonna put like soft pastels in there. Oh my word. Okay, we'll go for the Bambinos. This is just unreal. I feel like the luckiest person on the planet. I want to try and preserve the prettiness. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <gasps> oh, oh my, if this is what I think it is, I'm going to pass out. Oh my bloody God, it is. She is so cheeky. <gasps> no way. Guys. Guys. Okay, so now I know what this one is. I need to contain my, my excitement. I need to contain it. Right. It is, isn't it? Oh my no. Okay, I need to give you a bit of a backstory before I pass out. Okay, so these art graphs, these are the two that I couldn't get, right? I think this one's like um, emerald green and this is magenta. Um, green and magenta, right? Now I couldn't, you know how I love the art graft. I, I feel like I'm almost an authority on art graft now. I couldn't get these two shipped to this country and I have no idea why and believe me I tried. Anyway, I was discussing this with the beautiful human that sent me this birthday gift and she had said that she would send them out as a gift for me and I was delighted, I was absolutely delighted. And she said in her little letter that she couldn't get hold of them although they were things, so she's naughtinesses. I'm, ah. Oh. Okay, um, we are going to swatch these, but I did want to do an art graph review part two with these. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, I'll swatch them in this video, but I'm going to also leave them separate to what I have planned with this now, um, because I wanted to do a full video on these. Now, it's going to be much harder to preserve the prettiness. Um, okay, okay, this, I'm going to try and do it this way can do it oh I got it oh wow <gasps> this is gonna be even more perfect oh my god this is one of those creative th oh I know oh this is I know what this is I know what this is I've always wanted to try one of these these are these sketchbooks right and they're amazing they have they do them in a varied sizes but do you know what, I've always wanted to try one and I just haven't, haven't. Oh, this is just unreal. So yeah, you have like a, a packet, like a thing in here with storage, put your bits and bobs and the pocket's huge. And you could put like little swatches in there and I don't know if you're into sort of picking up leaves and stuff. Oh, wow. Oh, and it's the perfect color paper as well. I can't tell you how lucky I am. Oh wow, I've always wanted to try one of these sketchbooks. Oh, look how pretty it is. Oh, fantastic. Okay, well, that's sorted then. Um, we're gonna swatch these out in this sketchbook. I'm gonna fill my go bags up and we'll swatch these. But as I said, I'm going to keep this for a separate video. Okay, let's go swatch this if you can hear this barking in the background it is my dog okay where am i going to start okay i'm going to start with these art graphs now if no one knows what art graphs are they're like these pigment blocks they're called tailor shaped pigment blocks uh and they are just beautiful now i'm i'm so excited about this oh my word oh it's pretty oh it's beautiful um what i notice about the paper is it's not only sucky sucky it is also sits on top as well um which is which is kind of like a a bit of a dichotomy that's beautiful like i said i'm not going to go into any detail with these uh because i'm going to make it into a separate video um my word 
Oh, wow. I bloody love an art graft. They are just so stunning. Oh, and look at that colour. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. I just can't handle it. Right. Enough of that because I'm not going to get into it. I know what will happen. I will just continue to get into this. Let's swatch these out. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to mess with the, um, what's it called, brush pen right now. Um, I'm just going to put them all on and then I'm going to put water on them all. So let's do that. Let's do, I love the little size. Dark sepia. Oh. They're really lovely. Oh, they do go on nice. Um, night green. Ooh. Oh, that one's beautiful. Oh, they do go on so nice. I've never heard of these before, you know. Oh, I didn't even tell you what this one was, did I? Oh, red. A type of red. I can't say it. I'm rubbish. Oh, these colours, are just, they go on so deliciously, you know. Burnt ochre. Oh, I'm so bloody excited. They're so cute, a gold ochre. These are just gonna be absolutely perfect for the trip I've got planned in December, you know. Canary yellow. Oh, that's a nice yellow, isn't it? Oh, that's like a sunflower yellow. Lemon yellow. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, this one looks, that one's this one. Dark phthalo blue. Oh, nice. What's this one? Light cobalt blue. Oh, nice. Oh, that's one of my favourite blues, you know. Moss green. Oh, that one's a lovely green. It's got like a, a bit of a dirty hue to that. Love, 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 love. Right, we'll have to go down a bit. Rose carmine. Oh, that one's beautiful, that one. Absolutely stunning. I, I'm Honestly, these colours are not basic colours. They are a lovely range. Dark orange. I'm so bloody excited. I need to calm down. I'm gonna pass out. Ochre. Nice. And we're on the second, second type. Orange, yellow. Oh, that one's lovely as well, isn't it? And it's not similar as well. You've got like a beautiful range of yellows and I really, really like that. What one's this one? Light Carmine. Oh, nice. Oh, Vermilion. Vermilion. Let's go with that. Oh, Verdian. Olive green. Oh, see, then that is a nice green. That is one of my favourites. Blue violet. Oh, I love blue violet, you know. Oh, that one's so intense, that one. Oh, dear. Cold grey. Oh, that one's beautiful. That will make some absolutely stunning skies. As will this one actually. What was this one? Cold grey too. Nice. Oh, it's just so chunky monkey. Brown ochre. I'm gonna pop him up here. Nice colour. Beautiful. These are not basic colours, guys, I'm telling you now. Indian red. Mm, just stunning. <gasps> right, raw umber. So we'll put him down here. Oh, that one's really nice. It's very cool. I like that. Let's do this. Oh, my word. Oh, there's a certain transparency to them. Like, and that's, uh, oh. Yeah, there's a certain transparency. I love that. Oh, my word. I can't get over it. Oh, wow. I'm so bloody excited. Oh, that makes it, and they mix as well. They bloody mix, guys. Look, they mix. I know that this is not giving you the best results in terms of each color, but I don't care. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, Ooh. oh yeah. that doesn't make you happy 
you're never going to be happy. I mean these as well, but I'm not, I'm not trying to avoid talking about them because there's no point, but the look, oh, just delicious. These are amazing. How have I never heard of these before then? Have I been living under a bush or a cave or something? They're stunning by uni as well. So I can't understand why I've never, and the botanicals, which is great because we have a botanical bash this weekend on Patreon. If you're not on Patreon, I sub highly suggest you consider joining because botanical bash, and there's going to be a lot more, um, a lot more related videos, but that is going to be perfect for that. Well, I've got to go and play with them now and I. I thought I'd jump on quickly um, because I'm just about to open the second package. I didn't actually say or introduce this package properly like I normally would. And that is because I got over excited. Because when I saw the contents of it, I almost died because I've always wanted these. And obviously they are very bougie. They are very expensive. They were on my wish list. Not for my birth, just in life generally, you know? Some people want a house, some people want a specific car. I want these. So um, this is just your intro into the second package. I opened it, I sniffed it, but we're gonna swatch it now. Okay, so I have opened them, I have not swatched them. Um, you'll be happy to know. Oh, it does smell so good. Oh, they feel so nice. Oh. Look how opaque that is. I know. Uh, I can't read a lot of these. So I'm just going to go for it. Nummy, nummy. Oh, so nice. It looks like velvet when it goes on. Oh, it's just so lovely. Oh. Nice. Mm. I'm so excited to create with them. They go on so opaque, you know, they're really just delicious. Oh, that is a nice orange. They work really nice on this paper as well. The sketchbook's turning out to be a right little swatch fest, isn't it? Oh, wow, vibrant. this green I'm really excited about and I wasn't wrong I was not wrong to be excited about that one that's a nice blue now I think I've already got this one but you can never have too many so love that love that it's lovely this is one I'm excited about as well this one oh yeah nice and this one I'm excited about, it's peachy. <gasps> yep. <sighs> Just so beautiful. Now obviously white is perfect. Oh yeah, lovely. Look at that. Look at all of that. I know. I don't know where to start. You know the way where you're overwhelmed by just be beautifulness and you just like, oh, where do I start? I know, I know. I'm gonna have to make a start somewhere. I'm gonna do a spread in this sketchbook, I think. I'm thinking florals just because I've I've um I've been doing a lot of that lately just for different workshops and things and I've kind of gotten really into it like botanicals, foliage, florals and I think it was after the sunflowers that I did for Patreon I did a uh, uh, some some sunflowers I don't know where they are actually I'll put it in now. Yeah, I did those sunflowers. Uh, for a Patreon video, absolutely loved it. So I'm thinking, 
of doing something like that, certainly with the watercolour pencils, and then go in with the luminance. See what I'm see what I'm doing? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Best birthday ever. to try and do now actually is just mix media i want to try and mix media situation see how these fare um with my inks or shall i do my art graphs no no i'm not going to do my art graphs i'm going to leave that for another day today is rainy gray and i'm loving the kind of vibes i'm looking at right i don't know why i just love it so i'm gonna do that i don't know what happened here uh, something happened. I have no idea. I think there's not much left in this one now Get a nice rainy sky in. I'm gonna make some more of that actually uh, I'm gonna get some of I'll get some of that one in. I love this color antelope brown by Dela Roney Okay, oh yeah, beautiful beautiful I'm in the feels for trying something new. Um, I don't know what that looks like yet, uh, but no doubt I'll let you know when I find it. Um, I might get some grass in there. Just sort of, you know, texture of it at least. Um, you know that way where you, you're wanting something you want to you want to branch out want to do something different I, I, that's where i'm feeling at the moment um i think i'm somewhat struggling uh with everything um but i know that i am that's the difference so it's it's not half as bad when you know what's going on you know um but i am finding certain tasks very taxing creating is, is definitely one of them but you know I, I what do, what else is what what else do i do you know and that's why i sort of push myself through 
and this is why I was thinking like last night maybe just branching out trying something new obviously I've started doing more botanicals more florals which has been great but I'm thinking maybe I should start a substantial piece maybe it's the labor I need you know something to labor over does anyone feel like that sometimes a bit of blow flap flap it around honestly this sketchbook is absolutely dreamy look at that brilliant I'll wait for this to dry and then I will be using my accoutrements. Battery's about to go. Oh. Okay, it's dry, battery's changed. We can proceed with our day. I'm gonna to refer to one of my favorite books ever. Uh, you've seen this before. For those of you who have not, this is a book that I got from a secondhand shop. Uh, a while ago it's very expensive what it is but you get oh I didn't I forgot they did foliage and stuff in here but it's beautiful the what I loved for it I mean look at these little figures so cute um, very oriental but uh, more for the trees um, you know I love a tree this is probably one of my favorite trees, that one. That one there. I've uh, painted him a few times. I quite like this one, these two. Um, that'll be quite good to do. And that one, boop, boop. You could probably get a couple of those in there. Do like rocks and things. It's just like an amazing book. I just have it always on hand. Um, I like those ones, those ones are good the run in what I did want to try and find is like a tree book you know um because these are very oriental trees you can tell especially with working in ink as well my kids are going mental today I don't know what's going on oh, I mean look at these little insects how adorable are they I'm getting sidetracked again guys can you tell can you tell that I'm getting sidetracked again okay uh we'll go with these two then shall we go with you yeah let's go with this one. Oh, this one's nice just kind of try and map out where i want them to go sort of that composition looks all right i want them to be almost like pine tree that'd be quite nice nice gray day so don't need to be perfect about it do we these pencils are just marvelous love them okay cool 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 so we've got some texture uh we'll go for a dark green shall i oh looks boring do oh, that's quite nice that combo yeah i quite like that actually it's quite nice yeah, I quite like that to be fair. Let's try this one. Mm, looks very flat, that one. Potentially, mm, you're very similar to that. What about this one? Kind of, I like to play with colour. Um, and that one's quite nice actually. We'll do that. I do like playing with colour. Um, probably have to just move this colour around a little bit here. I might try like a yellow. Hmm. Uh, oh, maybe mix a bit of that in with it. I tell you what though, those mi these mix in really well with them. Quite nice to be fair. Quite like that nice texture love 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 um need something else in there though don't we let's try sorting this sky out shall we that's quite nice isn't it i'm doing it in the watercolor ones because um i probably if i don't like the texture i can always like wash it out i do love the texture of pencil you know I love a pencil these are just marvellous 
I'm sorry, but they are. I've never heard of them before, and you can't get them in the in this country either. Well, I haven't been able to find them, um, so that's devastating because I know that there is a another pack, pack one apparently. I've been told, and I can't get it. So what I'm going to try and do then is see what it's like mushing some of this about. Oh, and these these are amazing. These are fantastic. They they don't leak. Um, yeah, they're, they're really reliable, fantastic, and they're so tiny and portable. I love it. I've even bought a new go bag for all of these. Just sort of let you know that. Let that dry a little bit. Maybe I'll get some purple in there. Oh, I just love that colour. That's nice, isn't it? See, that colour on there is just fantastic. I love that colour together. I love that colour together. Oh, it's just so beautiful. I love experimenting. Oh, I love kind of just throwing materials down on a page and just seeing what happens. You know, I, I, I don't like overthinking too much. You know, you've got all these beautiful materials around you. Why do you want to restrict that, restrict yourself, you know? And these just go great on this. Cool. Oh, it's just so lovely. Oh, I love it. I need some more in the sky, something, something else. What about this baby blue? Oh yeah, that's nice. That is nice, isn't it? Maybe I want to put some more something on here i'll probably see how it fares i know that a lot of this isn't water soluble but just to see what happens if i layer yep nice i want to bring the trees forward a bit more so if i can do that like this it's just playing isn't it you know seeing what happens who cares? Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Hmm. That will do. Let that dry, just for a laugh. <sighs> I know, I know, <laughs> I've been so spoiled. Firstly, I wanna say thank you to Stephanie. Huge, huge shout out to Stephanie. Uh, first and foremost, for your gifts. They are amazing. I'm so grateful. You've just got exceptional, exceptional taste in art materials. I will absolutely get the most out of these art materials and I'm just, oh, I'm just so grateful. I have been told that I've got a few more packages in the mail. So to you guys, thank you again. Thank you so much. Um, I will do separate videos for those because uh, I need time to film and edit and blah, all the techie techie stuff, but I will absolutely do box openings, swatches, creating, all that stuff. So I'm really excited for that. So thank you to you guys too. Just a little bit on the, you know, creative or lack thereof. I am finding it difficult. I'm kind of kind of doing the waves. It's like a Mexican wave. You know, I don't know what I'm gonna have to deal with on any given day. It's not like, it's not like I, I can anticipate like I'm gonna have a run of say three or four days of just great productivity or anything. It's kind of like that. So I can feel like a Mexican wave um, on any given day and I, I'm just, I, it's making me really kind of discombobulated, I think is the best word for it. So anytime I feel like that, ooh, you know, I, I kind of jump on it. Um, obviously you saw this one, which I was quite happy with. I added in the fence panels. Um, I just thought it kind of brought the two sides together. Um, and I really, really like that. And it's also kind of like the memory of my garden as well. Um, I did this one. 
My favourite bit is this bit, is the eucalyptus tree. Um, absolutely love that. It's just trying new stuff, trying to kind of, you know, I don't know, looking at different parts of the garden and, and trying to get those textures, colours, foliage. Um, and obviously we did this one today. Very dark, very ominous, caught the rain in there. Love this part, I think. I didn't like it at first, but I like the layers. You can really see, see those layers. And I like that. Um, I more than likely will work on this more. I know what I'm like. I'll just sort of flick through the sketchbook and then and then I'll be like, oh, this will be good with it. Something will come to mind and I'll start working into it more. I mean, this sketchbook, I mean, look at that. Look at that, you know? Um, and I like the way it curls. Oh, yeah, I'm just I'm so lucky, aren't I? So fortunate and lucky to have you all and... As I said earlier in the video, I have bought a new go bag to, uh, you know, move into. There's nothing fam more fabulous than newness, is there? It, there's something about the sense of newness that just wants to kind of get get your juices going. You want to you want to use the newness, you know. You want to break it in. So I'm hoping that if I was to make a few adjustments, make some changes, environmental changes, that that will kind of spur me on and I'll get back into a flow. I have a mountain of videos conceptualized and what I do is everything I need for those videos, I usually just kind of leave in piles so that I, I know, right, grab the pile, make the video, grab the, you know, that's kind of my flow at the moment. Right, this weekend, Patreon and Sketchbook Party, uh, Sketchbook Party, uh, last week you had Rotate to Create and I really hope you liked that. That was a good one. I really enjoyed that one. And then let me just see, Skep is it Patreon? Yeah, Patreon this weekend on the Sunday, I believe. It will be Botanical Bash, which is the experimental workshop I worked really hard on. I'm really, really excited about it. The idea of the workshop is being created to facilitate other ideas. So you will also get uh, early access to, did you know? First Saturday of the month, um, Patreon will be getting early access videos or early access content. Obviously, did you know, YouTube will be getting it and that will be the last Saturday of the month. So YouTube will be getting the did you know this month, the last Saturday of this month. I'm so sorry it's taken so long. Um, oh, it's just been mental, isn't it? You know, I'm, I'm probably averaging about a minimum of two videos a week. Uh, but I try and make it more three, four videos a week uh, just to kind of facilitate not only my YouTube, but my Patreon, my Sketchbook Party, and obviously, if I have time, did you know, uh, the month of October, ooh, ooh, I'm going to make it more kind of spooky vibes, dark, ominous. That's kind of the vibes I'm going for in celebration of Halloween in celebration of Halloween. I'm also going to be doing a giveaway on YouTube this month, probably at the end of the month, and that will be for a Be Creepy sticker. And if you don't know what that is, it is this. This bad boy. Ooh, Be Creepy! Because I'm creepy, as we know, I'm totes creepy. Uh, just to give you an idea of what it looks like, here is what it looks like. There you go die cut fabulousness love it if i can ask you to put a little ghost emoji or a little halloween it could be a ghost pumpkin uh cobweb the worm the worm emoji if you put that in your comment section if you comment put it in like and make sure you're subscribed as well those are the things i need from you you'll be entered in and i will be in touch at the end of this month the more times you're in each week, the more times you have a chance to be entered. It's gonna be amazing. And I'll be doing multiple giveaways with this sticker. So it's not just one sticker, I'll be doing multiples. So good luck to those that enter. Uh, I do have my happy birthday sticker uh, being launched today. Um, I will have them available on my website in a couple of days, uh, I think, probably. 
um, have a look. If not, the the reason is is because uh, there was an issue with shipping, um, and so I should have already had them, but I don't because whatever. And and I want to make sure that I actually physically have them before anyone starts putting in orders. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna leave you with a couple of minutes of bloopers. They are bloopers are little clips of just. Um, <laughs> questionable footage that I some have taken out some of which you may have already seen in previous videos but I've kind of put a comp compilation together at the end of this video just to celebrate my birthday and uh, as a kind of like <sighs> reason why you should stick around and stay if you haven't already subscribed you've made it this far you might as well subscribe and uh, if you are interested in my Patreon or my sketchbook party both links are down below but without further ado I'm going to let you get on with your day thank you so much for joining me on my birthday week you mean more to me than you could possibly know and again Stephanie thank you so much for your generous generous gifts bye guys <coughs> Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome to the Lazy Red and... Uh. <laughs> Still really sleep deprived. Did you hear that? That was my belly. <laughs> do not... <laughs> Why on earth do you stay with me, guys? Look at that. There's the brush part. Look at that. I'm just gonna go with it. I can't afford to waste paint. It's huge, got fish in it and everything. Looks. <laughs> I still <accidentally> cry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I should be used to it now, but I'm not. Uh, the. Oh my god. One of the dogs has stink bombed my room. Oh, I can't breathe in here. I'm sorry, Bobo. But... Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna be sick. These are the ink tents uh, drawings, uh, pencils. These are the ink tents, ink tents. Get it right. So I was like, Sally sausage. Oh my word. Blinded by the Lord's son. Oh, one moment. Is that better? Okay, we'll just, we'll just, we're gonna proceed. I'm gonna do a video on. <coughs> and retreat to the studio for more of a therapeutic, um, would you shut up? Someone's beeping outside my house and it's doing my head in. Sorry about that. Oh my God, someone just beeping constantly. Beep, beep. Like how many beeps do you need before you need to get out of the car and go and knock on the door? <sighs> I'm in a bit of a promiscuous mood today, I think. Imagine me with a mustache. Imagine. I think I'd have a long one, you know, like a, like a, like a long, situation i don't know crisp the ginger i know i'm creepy i can't help it